I've always loved Chevy, anything Chevy related. Um, I've loved the Camaros. I just feel like it's a it's a little bit stereotypical for you to get your first classic car and it be a first gen Camaro. People get the Mustang or the Camaro or whatever. So I started looking into the second gens. Um, I fell in love with them. I think the body lines and the style and how they look and the size is beautiful. Um, I started looking on Auto Trader, found this one. It was in Temecula, which is a little bit far from me. I'm in Huntington Beach. Um, and I went and looked at it, and I pulled out the cash that day, and I stopped looking. This was it for me. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Cameron with Speed Tech Performance and today I am in Las Vegas at SEMA 2021. We we're walking through and I saw Olive. Now this is a car that we have shared many times, so I went and grabbed Laura. Laura is the owner of this car. Laura, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Happy to be here. Well, we're happy to have you here. So, I wanted to take a little bit of time and have her talk about her ride and what's gotten her into the automotive world. So Laura, I kind of want to know, what is your earliest automotive memory? Earliest car memory um, would be learning how to drive my dad's 51 Willys Jeep. Uh, I think it was like an old four speed from the military. Definitely first memory. That's super cool. So you went from the Jeep to what? Uh, my first first legal car was a 2000 Volkswagen Beetle. It was, it was a five speed. I mean, at least it was a five speed. But uh, okay, so then you went Beetle. And then what? Did, when did you start getting into performance vehicles? So I picked up this funky, I think it was like a 2005 Nissan 350Z. It had carbon fiber and wasn't really my style, but it was cheap. Uh, that was my first performance car, I guess. Okay, that's awesome. So what kind of condition was it in? How big of a project was this? It actually wasn't too crazy. It was pretty much what it is now body-wise. Um, but stock, so it had a rebuilt 350 in it. Um, it, it was on stock, tires, uh, some aftermarket wheels, but body, interior, all that was the same. Um, I, I changed everything else. I, I put the LSX in it, the uh, suspension, obviously, um, wheels, tires, lowered it. I did a bunch of fab work. Um, well, I didn't, I have to, you know, shout out P2 Fabrication for everything, but um, yeah, all the mechanics of it is totally different. It's it's her old self, but with a new heartbeat. Well, that's awesome. Um, so you mentioned suspension, obviously being speed tech, what does it have underneath it? It's the extreme front subframe with the rear torque arm. Okay, so before this project started, had you ever heard of speed tech or, or what, what drew you to our products? I hadn't. I mean, this is my first build. I'm like, I'm just now getting into cars. Um, Frankie at P2 helped me out a lot. He he recommended you guys. Um, he knew I would want to get into racing. And I have all this speed. Built this car. Might as well use it. Might as well drive it and not just have it sitting in my garage. So he's like, let's put speed tech on it. Let's put with, with this big engine. You got to have a good suspension, good setup. You're going to want to race it, so let's go with something that can handle and, you know. So this last year, you did a lot of good guys events. You did some Optima. What's your plan for this coming year with the car? Um, there's a couple races coming up. Um, there's one in Pleasanton this weekend, and then the Scottsdale uh, good guys show next weekend. I think that one's invitational, but honestly, I just want to get out there and do as much as I can. I'm down for any race. I, I'm down for shows. I, I live in Huntington, so I go to the quarantine cruises and the weekend cruises. Honestly, I, I just love doing anything related to it and meeting everyone and having a good time. And that's what it's all about. So not only getting out and driving, but like you said, you can show the car. So it's got the show and the go. Which do you prefer better? Do you like driving or do you like people just looking at it? I like driving it because I can sit here all day and tell the same story. Oh, it's got an LSX, uh, I'm running speed tech, and that's cool. But getting out there and driving it and having people come over and help you and you know see you actually ripping your car, that's so much more fun to me. Um, but you know that's not it's not all the time. It's a seasonal thing. So just enjoying it during the season as long as I can. And 
than going to the shows. I can't really pick. I like them both. I do love them both. Um, but I would say racing it is probably the best. Oh, for sure. It's always good to get out and rip. Now, when you drive, I know because we obviously see the stuff you post. So you drive hundreds of miles at a time. So not you're not only just trailering it to the track, you're driving to the track. How does it handle on the highway, you know, doing freeway speeds and everything that way? It handles amazing. It, honestly, it feels like I'm cruising in a BMW sometimes. I tighten up the suspension when I'm racing it or loosen it for specific things, but um, overall it handles amazing and feels super comfortable. And that's one thing that we try to focus at with Speed Tech. We want to make things that are not only going to tear up the track, but if you want to get in and cruise, you can do that. And I know I've personally done it in some of our cars, travel thousands of miles at a time. And like you said, it's like you're in a modern performance vehicle. 100%. It's super comfortable. <laughs> so not only do you have this car, you also are building another SpeedTech vehicle. Can you tell me just a little bit about that project? So I have a 67 C10. It's uh, one of the slant nose, small window. Uh, I've got it recently. It's bare bones stock. It's a long bed farm truck. Um, it's that baby blue. It's super cool. I already ordered my suspension with you guys, waiting for that. Um, I don't have crazy plans, probably just another LS. Um, eventually paint, but I'm going to do a short bed conversion, run the patina for a little bit, possibly race it, possibly just cruise it. But, you know, with you guys, I can do both. All right, so now we got to know Laura a little bit better, and I want to thank her for her time. Now, Laura, can you tell us where to find you online so that we can see this ride a little bit more? Yeah, I'm on Instagram. I'm Chevy underscore chick. I'm starting a YouTube channel soon, but for now I have my Instagram. <laughs> All right, so that wraps it up here with Laura and her project Olive. We are again here at SEMA 2021, and we're going to go check out some more rides.